torrential thunderstorm soaked the area late yesterday, and by early this morning, it was impossible to reach what has come to be known as the Flood City. Early last evening, it looked like just another rain, but soon sewers could no longer handle the crush. Water backed up behind the bridges where debris had jammed, and the flood of 77 in Johnstown had begun. Area highways buckled or totally eroded, others clogged with floating automobiles. Firemen had to watch helplessly throughout the night as several homes and businesses burned to the ground, not for lack of water, but for a means to get to them. And though the terror of tens of thousands of residents was at its greatest in the wet dark, morning brought the full realization about what had happened. The entire downtown area was either flooded or knee-deep in mud. Red Cross officials worked quickly using boats to transfer blood from their disabled refrigerators to a nearby dairy. Other boats that arrived as a result of appeals in other areas ferried stranded homeowners to higher ground. Hospital officials say they were able to maintain basic operations with only 2% of normal electricity, but still, three persons died in one facility overnight. The hospital was flooded in the basement. There, there was no water damage from the first floor up. The water stopped about four inches under the first floor, so the, all the patient areas, diagnostic areas, uh, were, were not affected. It was Johnstown's main shopping area that was hard hit in previous floods, and this year was no exception. But the major problem for merchants and police was mud and the fear of looting. Both state and local police patrolled the sector, and with orders to shoot to kill looters, chased all civilians out of the area. Still, other civilians volunteered their assistance and patrolled with shotguns. But it was not the downtown area that was worst hit. Nearby Hornerstown was still a series of rivers and lakes late today. Residents say at least three bodies were taken from the neighborhood. Cars upon cars upon cars were piled against everything, and piles of brush made it hard to discern which houses were simply covered or were totally collapsed. One survivor of the flood of 1936 said this flood was every bit as bad. How high cars are piled up more, there's more debris, I, uh, I think, and uh, everything else. Uh, in compared with 36, you didn't have all this that you're looking at right there in the corner. All the debris. Uh, yeah, did you ever think it would happen again? Where? No, not, not with the river wall and that. So I never thought it could happen. It was not, apparently, the fault of the dike levee system that Cambria County flooded this morning. Instead, simply too much rain for sewer inlets and a series of dams building with debris at bridges. Mayor Herbert Fuel estimates damage in the city will total $100 million, but that doesn't include probably the outlying areas. Just getting to Johnstown today was an accomplishment. The major artery into town, Route 56, was only a patchwork of a highway. Piles of rock and brush extended at times over four lanes of the road, and in other areas, only two lanes of the highway were left, the rest being swept away by angry waters. Police and rescue agencies found the quickest way in by air, and at any one time, you could spot five helicopters shuttling people and supplies from the devastated area. And what about the people? Well, some came to see a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle. Others, weary from a night-long vigil, worked silently to dig their way out of the mess. And for the families of those who lost their lives in the flood, it will be a storm and a day never to forget. If you've never seen a flood firsthand, if you've never waded knee or waist deep in mud and water, if you've never seen the agony and despair of the people with their cars piled on top of each other and their homes destroyed, well, there's no way you can imagine it. Back in 1936, the residents of the flood city thought that they had seen the last of the great floods, but they were proved wrong in 1977. John McClintock, Action News, Johnstown.